Slope fields give new meaning to the idea of a family of antiderivatives. For example, consider the differential equation dy over dx equals x squared minus x minus 1. If we were to solve this differential equation right here, we could do so by integrating both sides. I could move the dx over to the right hand side, thereby getting dy equals x squared minus x minus 1 dx. Now, I could integrate both sides right now. The integral of 1 dy is equal to y. The integral of x squared is 1 third x cubed. The integral of negative x is negative 1 half x squared. The integral of negative 1 is negative x. And we have to remember the plus c because we do not have limits of integration. This is trying to find some antiderivative that fits this particular differential equation. So here we have our particular solution to this differential equation. Now the answer is, what do these c's represent? Well, in this particular case, c is the y-intercept of the function y. If you were to plug 0 into x, you would get 0, comma, c. So in reality, this c represents where my particular solution, y, crosses the y-axis. So for example, if c equals 4, we would come up with this blue, this dark blue solution up above. And you can see by the slope field defined by dy dx equals x squared minus x minus 1, that this blue line does follow the slope field very nicely. That each of these slopes at any given point lie tangent to this dark blue line. You can imagine a slope field like a river and that these are currents. And if you were to fall into the river at any given point, you'd be dragged by these currents. Well, if you were to fall in the river at any point on this blue line, you would follow the blue line as you go across. This C could represent the point in which you fall in. And so if you were to fall in at 4, you are falling along this dark blue line. If C equals 0, you would get this red line in the middle. And if C equals, for example, negative 4, then you would fall along this turquoise line on the bottom. But as you can see, there are an infinite number of possibilities for what my particular solution of this differential equation could be, which is why we called the solution or the antiderivative a family of antiderivatives. This C represents that family.